What are you listening to? Beastie Boys. Now, how can you be listening to uh, Beastie Boys and do your homework? Um, they inspire me. Pretty awesome. Nice job. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Very impressive. Yes, yes. I will leave the good stuff to you. No, no, no. You go ahead. My, my skates aren't very sharp. Actually, she's very, she's a lot better than me, but she's very safety conscious, so she needs that helmet. And, I mean. Do better with safety. I guess you guys are out of luck, because she doesn't have a helmet right now. Sorry. Maybe next time. Oh, well. I told him no visitors, but he wanted to congratulate you anyway. What? This is the biggest celebrity I've ever met in my life. This is a very big deal. When he walked into the room, I, the first thing I did was. The first time I met him, it was like, hi, I'm Josh. Um, uh, could barely speak to him. Guys, this is the gray one. Wayne's fine. <laughs> Say hockey! I have a four and a half year old and a three year old, and they love the movie. They have the video and they watch it all the time. We went to the theater and we watched the first one. So I won't say anything and I won't show them until the day it comes out and we'll go to the theater, the three of us, and we'll have popcorn and soft drinks and we'll watch it and I'll come on. I won't tell them until I come on, so that'll be fun for me. Yeah! How's everyone? Y'all ready to play some puck? Hey, look, it's Hoppel Home Gretzky. <laughs> we always saw Ducks 1. I, I always called it the little movie that could. It surprised everyone. It surprised even me. When the film opened it, it, uh, and hung in there and hung in there and hung in there and people s continued to see it and kids talked about it and the video sold 800,000 units, something ridiculous like that. Everything sort of snowballed and there, wasn't even, there was hardly a question of whether or not there would be ducks to it, it was just a question of when. Tees up the puck with the knuckle puck. It's a bigger movie. I think there, there's certainly more skating. Um, there's more jokes. Uh, it's a it's a more mature movie in a lot of ways. I'm proud of this movie. I'm as proud of this film as I was of, of, of the first picture. Hey, everyone, let's go! Come on! But, but, Come but. on! I'm obnoxious. I'm a nerd, but I'm a stylish nerd now. They got better clothes. And uh, I'm not just I'm not. I'm a smart aleck. You couldn't call me completely obnoxious because you know he likes the team and he's he's a better hockey player too. Have you guys been training in the off-season? You know, I knew we forgot something. It was a big joke, the last line of the last movie. Hey, Ducks! No matter what happens, we'll see you next season. We got a title to defend. Everybody thought Mighty Ducks too, but I just went home and I didn't even give it a second thought. I really didn't think there was going to be one. And then when we found out there was going to be one, there was a letter sent to us all, we don't know who's going to be in it yet. I don't think any of us really waited with bated breath, but then when it finally came, I was really happy. My little brother Russ here has been telling me that you guys have been choking big time. Well, your brother's got a big mouth. He does, doesn't he? This time, it's kids that are a lot more confident about themselves, kids that know they can win and are almost positive they're going to win the gold, and then they're kind of stopped by, by, by a team that's a lot that, that, that may be equal to them. I had just decided that I had enough and I was going to get into this game and I'm facing off against an Iceland player and I just didn't like the look on his face, so I took him out. Where I come from, we treat ladies with respect. Thank you, Dwayne, but I'm no lady. I'm a duck! That's the play, Diane. I'm studying literature and I've just read a story called Linigan versus the Ants and uh, I have to do an essay over the stories. It's a big drag, it's a big, I hate school anyway, but anyway, uh, it's, it's hard because you gotta come back in and do, you know, you get usually 20 or 30 minutes into school and you can't already concentrate the first 20 minutes, the first 10 minutes, you know, you're just getting slowed down from being out on the ice and being in front of the camera. And, you come inside here and you gotta start thinking and by the time you start thinking and they say, okay, Duck's back on the ice, so you have to go get back on the ice and you lose all that concentration, so it's hard. 
Oh, yeah. what, can we do the more uplifting, inspiring? <laughs> <laughs> it is fun, it's where it's fun. <laughs> Tapes. Folder. <laughs> English book. Geometry book. Espanol. My book, Kurt Vonnegut, Welcome to the Monkey House. Good book. My Walkman, <laughs> my headphones. A Josh's hat. My I didn't bring it, he brought it, I just snaked it, you know? My hat, very important. I'm really from Iceland. I'm the trainer of the team, and uh, as you know, everything is permissible in love and war, so... <laughs> I thought Iceland was covered with ice. Iceland? No, it's very green. I thought Greenland was green. Greenland is covered with ice, and Iceland is very nice. Ah. New Jersey, oh, it's a lot different than the old one. The old one was more complex, and this is, uh, this is the actual jersey that the team's gonna be using. It's an exhilarating feeling just to wear a, a jersey that, you know, professional hockey players be wearing. Hey, is that a tattoo? Is it real? Get away from me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Actually, last movie, uh, uh, one time, uh, I walked down the ice. I mean, the whole time, nobody ever really got seriously hurt without, you know, we played lots of hockey, everybody was hitting each other, and then one time I had my skate protectors on, you know, those blade protectors, and I walked down the ice and pretended to skate, or, you know, I was gonna skate, but a plastic on ice doesn't work, and I fell down and, like, tore a couple tendons in my knee. <laughs> this don't look like no rodeo drive to me. No, that's rodeo drive. <laughs> I've never really been to Ro rodeo drive before, and he saw these people, and it's like a different way of life, you know? I mean, everything's rich, money. We went to the store, and they were, like, closed there for like $6,000 for a hat. And I'm thinking, I'll pass on that one, you know? It's, it's unbelievable. Well, gentlemen, did you see anything you liked? You know, I gotta be honest. My mom really needs a bikini. Hey, I don't care, you, you little brats don't ever come yeah. back into this door! I've never put goalie pads on before in my life, and they asked me because they need a goalie for these guys to shoot at. So I'm gonna put these things on, and I'm probably gonna make a fool out of myself. Your I did pretty good. I surprised myself. The very first shot, I gloved it. I looked at my. It was like. Hey, look what I found! I didn't. I, I shut out Eldon. I shut him out, man. Can you believe it? Oh. And when everyone says it can't be done, ducks fly together.